guys welcome back to our youtube channel hope you're all doing well and welcome back to a brand new video today is currently saturday so i thought i could pick up the camera and you could spend the day with us well pretty much me because tom's actually out the majority of the days at work and then he's at football but he'll be back tonight but i've got quite a few exciting bits going on today so i'm just on my way to pick up molly and till now if you don't know who they are you've been living under a rock but molly is my best friend and tilly is her beautiful baby girl so i'm gonna go pick those two up now and we're actually gonna take a trip to m and because me and Moll absolutely love nothing better than going to marks and spencers around this time of year and just looking at all the food and things they've got going on like all the seasonal festive things we love going at halloween and we love going at christmas so we're gonna go have a little look around there and just kind of see what's about i also want to go to costa because i keep seeing everywhere about this new drink it's maple is it maple and hazelnut or something like that i can't remember but i keep seeing it everywhere i'm intrigued to see what that's like so i want to go try that um, I thought we could do a little bit of autumnal baking. I've got some deliveries coming actually with some knitwear in. So I could do like a little bit of a knitwear haul. And then tonight me and Tom are just going to have a cosy night in. And I'm going to make us like a Halloween cheese board. And we're going to have all nibbles and things. So quite a fun exciting day ahead. So if you are excited to spend the day with me then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. So we've got the goods and I've got Mal and Till but she's sleeping in the back. Um, we actually only got one of the maple. What What is it called? Maple Hazel. and hazelnut latte with light cream. Yeah, something like light swirl. No, yeah. it won't call cream, was it? Because we were like, what's that? Anyways, they had three of this. They had the iced one, they had a hot chocolate one, and they had a hot one. Latte. So it's just a hot latte. Latte, yeah. So obviously we got the cold, but we only got one because, I mean, I took one for the team. Yeah, I can commit. <laughs> she couldn't commit, so she can just try mine. But it looks really cute. Like they've got you probably can't even see it now, the sun. But like on the cream, they've like got autumnal sprinkles. Like the in how cute. It looks a bit like rose petals, a little bit like it's little like mini pink. ones. Try that. See what it is. What the cream? The bit on the yeah. no, because they said to me at the thing, "Do you want cream?" And I said, "Yeah." So that whatever that light something was can't have been cream. What's at the bottom? Something's at the bottom, and that's white. Do you reckon it's oh, that? Oh, maybe that's that. But what would it be? I don't if anyone know, works but... at Costa. Oh yeah. No, anyone wants to cost it, please tell us feels really weird with the camera there me sat here because when usually when i'm filming like with the camera there i'm sat there okay. right anyways let's let's give it a try <gasps> that is the nicest ever drink from costa shut what nicer than the white nicer chocolate one. Oh, the white ice white hot yeah. chocolate yeah that is you're gonna love that that is so good. Oh, that is good. How nice is that? It's the swirl thing is definitely something in there. Did you feel it was like? No, I don't feel that. See what I mean? No. It almost tastes a bit white hot chocolate, you know. It tastes like. It is. Is it hazelnut? Because it does taste like hazelnut. Yeah, it's definitely hazelnut. It's sweeter because of the maple, I think. It is really. How nice, nice is that? That honestly guys, that is that is one of the nicest, no, the nicest Costa. I mean cold drink. I'd say it's cl up close to the white mocha from Stab. Not it's not better. Oh my goodness. But I'd say it's up close. I'd give that like um a nine out of ten. I'd give it an eight, but just because. You've got your Costa drink that you like though, I haven't, have I? Yeah. Oh my god, that honestly. Go try that. I wonder what's on top. Should I Google it? So it looks like potpourri. I know it's obviously not, but it looks yeah. like potpourri. So this was called an ice. No, it wasn't. It was called a hazel maple. You've got the Costa app on your phone. Oh yeah. Yeah, but my phone's balancing the camera. I have the Costa app, right? Right, we're gonna tell you what it's called because you you need to go get this because this is like. Hmm. It is maple hazel ice latte, which is chilled milk over a fresh espresso with roasted hazelnut flavor syrup and luxurious maple sauce. That's the sauce. Topped with a light dairy swirl sprinkled with autumnal crunchy biscuit Oh, topping. so it actually says autumnal crunchy. crunchy biscuit Oh, so it is actually meant to be autumnal. Yeah. So that should just be biscuit. I still don't it. get what the light swirl is though, do you? Like what's that light swirl actually? Should I Google light dairy swirl cost? Like what? Watch it be cream, like just the booze. But no, because rain. then they said when I got there to the till, they said, do you want cream? Oh no, I thought it was light dairy swirl. Yeah, but so is that already included? Do you know what I mean? What does? Okay, let's have a look. 
Do you like that? Would you get that or not? I would get that, yeah, but without the cream because I don't like cream. No, I'm not a massive fan of cream. I don't really know why I got cream, to be honest. So that's crunch. That's like a biscuit, did it say? Yeah, an autumnal crunchy oh. biscuit. Oh, okay. It's made from skimmed milk. Looks like cream. Tastes amazing and 100 calories less per serving. So you were right. It is basically... A light cream. Cream, but made from like semi skim milk mm -hmm. oh skimmed milk so that's even i had the crunch that's biscuit mm. is it a flavored biscuit or no. just like biscuit biscuit not flavored not flavored no that's really nice that so does that mean you said that yes to cream does that mean you've got the made from skimmed did, milk did they mean do you want the light yeah whatever probably. Does it taste different, the cream? I won't yeah. try because it makes me feel fine. Yeah, it does. Does it taste like skinny? It tastes healthier, not as creamy. Yeah, so that would be the skimmed milk. Not very nice, actually, when you eat it like I've just ate it. It's all right on the drink. Yeah, cream's a bit... Uh... But you know what? That's good, then, because that means I've got a Starbucks autumnal drink. I've got a Costa autumnal drink, because my Starbucks is the pumpkin spice latte. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was this is them. that. And then, obviously, Christmas drinks. I just, I like, I like, love the Too Christmas drinks from here. Love the Christmas drinks from Costa. I can't even remember what they did last year. And my favourite usually is the, um, oh, what's it called? Cherry. Um, oh, you what's want the that Black Forest? Black Forest Gatto hot chocolate. Oh, my God, that's so oh, good. I'm not a fan of cherry. See, I'm just, you know what I'm like? I stick to what I know. Yeah, you do. So, like... I'm um, the guinea pig, basically, with us. Yeah. So. I get the drinks for us to try, and then she tries it. But I just think... From Starbucks, I get the iced white, white mocha. mocha. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah, season. but tell you what, you really do need to get from Starbucks. You got an SI thing the other day. Oh, I did. I swapped up and. My... Which can I just say that's like really big that is news. A big deal. That's big news for Mal to get that. Like to I not get the iced white mocha. And that is it. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do I need to try? Um, <clears throat> get your iced white mocha, but ask for it with nutmeg milk. Oh, that is nice. Oh, have you tried it? I've tried the milk, but not with. All oh, right, we'll try it. And it tastes exactly like a burner. Anyways, we're gonna drink candy. We're gonna go to M and S. Do you know what? I was looking on the M and S website. Started looking in September at the Halloween food, and it kept saying come back in October. So I've come back in October, and it still says come back in October. But I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the Christmas stuff's gonna be out. And I've, you know, that biscuit tin I sent you. Mm. Has anyone else seen it online? It's a shortbread biscuit tin. And you want it for the tin. Not oh the yeah, bread. not not the shortbread. I'm not bothered yeah. about that. Um, but on top it's like a projector light. Yeah. How do you, it is a projector yeah, light. Yeah, it is. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's got an it um it spins. So if anyone's we'll you know, try and find it and show you it. Yeah, I can't wait. The Christmas stuff defo will be out, I but know. we need to do this again at full Christmas. Yeah, of course. Joe, you know that's the hardest thing right now is trying to hold off to get Christmas stuff because you see it all when you think. Oh, I'll just wait till next month, but then like you think, oh my god, what if it goes well, and yeah, I don't get it? Well, this is the thing, I always say that, and then I bought some stuff from B&M the other week because I thought, what if it goes? I also bought two mugs from B&M yesterday. Did you? Yeah, really nice, I have sent a picture. Them. Really cute, it says fa la 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 la. Oh, cute. So cute. You love a Christmas mug, don't you? Love a Christmas mug. Anyways, let's just, fingers crossed, I want there to be some Halloween food in M&S. You know, like, like what? What do you last want? year, right? They did, they did like a witch's cauldron, mm. but it was like, what's that melted cheese that you dip the bread in? What's it called? Amber. Yeah, it was that, but in a cauldron. Cute. How cute would that be like with your bread dipped in? And then they did something like, it That'd was like mozzarella. Yeah, it would actually. And then they did like mozzarella dippers, but it was like mummy something and they had like, they were like mummies. You know, like just That's stuff cool. like that, which I thought would be really cute. So I really hope, but I just can't see it on the website. And I feel like surely you did put it on the website. I don't but know. if if it's coming out, it's surely got to be out. It's, it's literally Halloween in like three weeks. Two weeks, right? It's the end of the month. What are we on? Mm -mm. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah, so surely it's not like if it's not there, oh, we're too early. We're not too early. No, it's October now, isn't it? So So surely if it's not there, it's not coming. And if it's not coming, they have the Christmas stuff in. Well, sorry guys, change the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we're not we're not going to be sad about that because you know what we are like. I'm so excited for Christmas. So am I. Oh, I'm going to ask your viewers. So we've been talking about advent calendar mm. so she's going to be six months and oh, obviously yeah. she just started eating and they recommend like don't give them too much chocolate but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so i want to do an advent calendar mm. 
but what what would you do? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The books thing's a good idea. But I sent you two, an idea, didn't I? Yeah, we did the books. So I saw this one where it's like a big advent calendar, and every day you got a new book. So they did a Disney one, so every day you got a Disney book. Or they did what was the other one that I sent you? Uh, uh, Gruffalo. Buff Gruffalo. Um, and you got a new Gruffalo book. So whenever you open it, you got a new book. So I thought you could read her a new book every night, which would be cute. Yeah, I did think that was cute. But remember for the baby shower, I asked everyone for books. Yeah. So she's got like this. A lot of books. A lot of books. Everyone bought us books, didn't they? Yeah. Um, so I'm a bit like. So can they not eat chocolate at Like, if you got like a milky bag one, could, they not, could she not have like a little button? I suppose she could, yeah. So, but but like, what you're saying is, is there anything better that you could do instead of that? I, and I know she won't remember, but... Do you know what, though? I never get this, right? You know, like, when people go, oh, they're too young, they won't even remember. But we Yeah, will. but we remember it, and we remember, like, it's such a big moment in your life, your first Christmas with your first child. So, yeah, she ain't going to remember it, but you still want to put oh, everything out for Santa. I mean, I do that anyway. I yeah. don't have kids, but, you know. So does Georgie, my little sister Georgie. Yeah. She, um, <laughs> she put out carrots and everything for Father Christmas, <laughs> and a certain somebody in my house. Yeah. Yeah. Forgot to um, oh, tell me about it. Forgot to um <laughs> let Father Christmas basically forgot to eat it and so did Rudolph and she kicked off. And how old's she? Twenty one. Yeah. <laughs> <I love> it. <laughs> what we do do when we put our presents, me and Tommy like it's like don't look. It's got oh, to be yeah. a surprise in the morning but how big your pile is. Like we do do stuff like that. So Do you do one Christmas Eve just like you two or no, it's you two? We don't actually. Do so you? Only because I can't like I Oh, I'm so bad. Like I will look around the house for presents to the point that Ben has hid them at other people's houses or he, like hid them at work. That's, like we're such big kids, are we? I just, I just like to know what I'm getting so that if I'm going to be, do you know what I mean? You can prepare yourself because if it's something that I'm not going to like, <laughs> just so that I can get my face ready. Oh my god, that is actually such a good question. Let us know in the comments. Have you ever received a gift oh. that you didn't like? Do you know what? I have never received a gift that I hated. I, I genuinely haven't. I wouldn't say I hated it, but Ben had a rocky year like three years ago. So it's such a Ben story as well. Like as soon as I tell you, you're gonna be like Ben. So Ben's a chef and he was working the whole run up till Christmas. And it was Christmas Eve and right. he thought, I haven't bought my single present. <gasps> so he had a two hour break to pop to the shops. And um, <laughs> He went to like super drug or something. You know the makeup that has like little mix on as an example. <laughs> and it's and it's aimed at like nine year old yeah. girls with the glitter pot, the roll on glitter and like a little tiny what's that brush? Like thing? makeup that you just you you wouldn't use. Yeah, like children's makeup. Yeah. <laughs> so he was like panicking, he was like, that'll do, bang in. The women then went, they're free for two. So he picked two more. Oh no. So he's wrapped them all up for me. And I'm thinking, what is this? I've opened it and I'm like, is this, is, is this for and me? And you giving this to the wrong person? Yeah, I was a bit like, huh? And then I opened it and he was like, yeah, yeah, it's makeup. And I was like, for a nine-year-old? I feel like that's a really rookie error for a boy to get, unless they know what makeup you wear, don't get makeup. Because you, with girls, you have your specific makeup you wear, oh, yeah. don't you? Like, and they, they, I can just imagine him getting like the wrong, you know, like if he was to buy you, I know in that set you wouldn't have been able to choose, but... Yeah, I can imagine him buying you like foundation thing, thinking, yes, I've got all the makeup for you, she's gonna love it, and it's like the total wrong shade. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But not not to make it worse, I then laughed so hard I cried on the first one, <laughs> I then opened the second one, and the third one of exactly the same thing. Oh my god. Oh, it, was, it wasn't even a little bit different. No. <laughs> same thing. He thought I'll stock you up for the year. He, he literally thought he bought me like makeup and it was all different. He thought it was like a lucky dip thing. Oh, and I was like, did the little mix like not give it away? Because at this point I was what? 23? But do men know that them things? I don't know. Well, I just said to him, don't leave it till Christmas Eve. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But then even Christmas Eve, he could have still gotten better presents. It's been... Not saying that isn't a good present, but not for our age range. No. That's not a great present. And I did say, like, I was in tears. Like, I was laughed at. <laughs> I just thought laughed I absolutely loved that. But I do think it's just, I feel like, I, yeah, I've never understood when people say they're not going to remember. You I mean, I understand what they're hand. saying. I understand what they're saying. But you will. I will. It's like... Disney, I will 100% take my child to Disney before they will be old enough to remember. Because I'll remember them seeing it. And do you know what? Each to their own. Some people. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Some people. And I, I get it with presents. I do get it with presents. Oh, yeah, like, definitely. 
they're, they're not going to remember the presents. So why, why? I know like some people still do, but I personally won't feel the need to buy loads and loads of presents because they just wouldn't remember them. I'm just going to get her things that she needs. So like, obviously it'll be winter then, so like some clothes. Yeah. But like nothing, she'll lose interest. <laughs> yeah, like she's into Peppa Pig, so you'll get some Peppa Pig things. But oh. you won't feel the need to like, because she's not going to know Santa's been. No. Yeah, I feel like it's two separate things. I mean like the traditional things, like, like putting the mince pie Christmas. up taking her to see santa all that kind of stuff that she's not going to remember but you will remember the first time yeah, she it's did like that traditions, you know I mean? isn't it like, like the things first, you want to do every year the first yeah yeah it's, it's just like something you want to do every year so like we said we want to go pumpkin picking for her every year yeah so although she'll only be four months and she's she's not going to remember it it's like you the will. start of tradition so that every year we can go pumpkin and picking get a picture and, and see yeah and yeah. then like same with father christmas and yeah do you call him santa or father christmas yeah, both, I think. Do you? What do you? Father oh, Christmas. Santa. I think Santa. Santa. I think they're Santa. Wild, that. Probably a southern... Northern. northern divide. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I do. I, do, I just think you'll, you'll remember it. So just do it all. Do it all. Yeah. I think... And it's an excuse love. for us actually to go see Santa this year, so... That's what I mean. Like we, we probably would have gone. We were tempted last year. We went to the garden centre, and it's like Santa's problem. We were like, Oops. can we? Like, well, we can just say because you get a gift as well, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Like, could we have gone in and be like, hi, Father Christmas? Um, <laughs> yeah. We really, really would like. It. <laughs> Not the little mixed gift set. <laughs> Make a mental note. Oh, um, gosh. Yeah. That's so exciting. It's just an excuse for parents to go do, relive like their inner childhood. Oh, I think so, definitely. I think so, 100%. Anyways, that was completely off topic. We went every... This is what we do. Now I've been sat in Costa Carpa. You've not even drunk a drink. Do you know, I literally... You are a slow drinker. I have. Yeah. I have to make it last all day for some reason. Anyways, to M&S. To M&S. Somebody's awake. Saying good morning. Say hello. <laughs> she's just been smiling and now she's not, she's not. Floor. give me this one second she's like what are you doing well, I see. What is it? we're still getting used to being in lifts as well aren't we oh, yeah. we're still getting used to this but it's quite nice actually okay, we're now in the food hall food hall food court and this is what we've seen so far so there's a that is that not what you want about all oh, butter biscuit light up lantern no, there this must be the halloween version so oh yours christmas was the version. christmas one yeah i like this one i feel like this looks really cute they've got witch's tea which is just yogurt coated raisins eyeballs are they just chocolate are they just chocolate so cute Lollipop. cookies and scream what are they are they them cookie bite things yeah. that they usually have oh they've got that Oh, that's cool. So this is all like chocolatey. We've not seen any actual food yet. This is all we've seen. Are we going to get a smile? Are we going to get a smile? It's like whenever we put camera on, she went, oh. Are you going to perform? Are you going to perform? Oh, look what we found. Pumpkins. I feel like we had loads of these last year, didn't we? That's a good one. Yeah, I feel like we need to get that. Yeah, you want that one? Yeah. Oh, I think and then maybe a little orange. They're only a pound. Right, I'm going for this one. Which ones have you got? I got this one. Little mini ones. This one. Each. But like, we're a little bit disappointed because we've just asked the lady and she said it's all of this, which they look good. Sweet and chili combo crisp. I might have to get them. Oh yeah. Oh, vampire fangs. So I'm liking them. But she said this is all they have. And then I asked her about like the actual food and she said the week of Halloween they bring it in fresh so they have like pizza and die balls on and like what else which is colder and the cheese thing that I was telling you about so that's the week of Halloween so I think we're gonna have to come back for that because that's what we came for but oh are you smiling now <laughs> he's smiling now you're such a fake um so yeah that's the week of Halloween so I'm gonna have to come back for that but in terms of like Halloween stuff in stock at the minute Not it's all like your chocolate sweet stuff like that not a massive selection but the christmas stuff is popping so we'll show you that these are literally one of my favorite sweets ever i love 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 percy pigs they have christmas ones they have spooky ones we'll have to get a few of these i think and they also where did you just find them christmas jingle things or were they over there oh, over there but i have also seen more christmas what halloween well, i'm not sure but i'm just here Oh, pigs in blanket. Do you know what? These are my favourite when there's like loads of different 
you know like different crisps in the pack there oh, they're okay. my favorite crisps they look cute boxing day curry oh no maybe not i like the sound of these though and these yeah, they've got little mummy mummy are they mummies yummy mummy oh they're cute we're saying cute again oh, we all, why do we always say that well we can't help it they're cute <laughs> They are really cute though. Look at them. What else could you say is adorable? That's adorable. That's adorable. Do you know what though? If you were doing like your kids a little Halloween party oh. or something. Oh. oh. Don't buy that one anymore. I just absolutely ruined so it. So you've got, what have we got? Mini mummy loaf cakes. That's those. What are they? Fudgy oh, chocolate. Mmm. Yum. Okay. Then you've got the yummy mummy cat calling the caterpillar cakes. And then you've got mini monster cup cakes. Love it. Okay, we're on to the Christmas because there seems to be more Christmas than Halloween in here. How cute is that? They are, that, that would make such a cute little present. Right. How much are they? Nine pound, but I feel like that's worth it. <laughs> I also love these yeah, little Colin cool. cat pillars. What's this? Oh, this is cute. It's a chocolate um, topple tower mold, so you have to stack it. It's like a bit of a game. That's quite. They're only like, oh. what, £1.25? Oh, I love filler. that, yeah. Love it. They're good as well. Brownie baking mix and blondie baking mix all in one jar. Yeah, there's a lot. And has pennies in. See, it's good when it's not just sweets and you can actually use it. You know, like that, you can use a piggy bank. That's like a little bit of a game. Do you know what I mean? And guys, if you can't have, you know, normal chocolate, you've got your stocking food, <laughs> She's found it. She found this it. is what she sent us. Nine pound mile, that's not bad. Yeah, look, that's what it looks like. Oh, that would be so sweet. Isn't it? I just love like the design of it. Like, oh, and they've got smaller ones too. Oh wait. Yeah. That's good. Do you know what? You know like if you're doing someone a hamper for Christmas and like, you know like your nan, like tea biscuits, all that kind of thing. Like if you had like that, one of those, some biscuits like them. I feel like it's such a nice little gift, do you? Do you know what? I think M&S are good for like hamper. For gifts, yeah, 100%. They have so much. I'm now back. Do you know what? M&S was a disappointment. I'm not going to lie. We can't get over the fact that they're not going to bring out their Halloween like proper food until the week of Halloween. Like, what about people having Halloween parties? Do you know what I mean? I asked the lady and she was like, um, the Halloween stuff's over there, which was like the chocolate and crisps and stuff that we showed you, which that was all good. And I was like, what about like the... Um, you know the cold ones and the pizzas and stuff and she was like yes the week of halloween we'll bring out like a pizza with like eyes on and we'll bring out a cold with like cheese in. and i was like oh my god that sounds amazing but not until the week of halloween so we were pretty gutted about that to be fair however i have on the way home just popped to sainsbury's to pick up a cake mix now in all honesty i want to bake but I can't bother with the hassle of baking. Do you know what I mean? I just want something quick and easy. So what I thought we could do, I bought this salted caramel cupcake kit from Sainsbury's. Me and Mum actually made these buns last year, if you watched that video. If not, I'll pop it up here for you to watch. Because we did like an autumnal baking. But I bought salted caramel cupcake kit from Sainsbury's. And all you need to do for this is add one egg, butter and water. Looks really nice actually, looks like that. So we got that from Sainsbury's, which is nice and easy. Um, and then with that you get obviously the mix, you get the icing for the top and then you get some little fudge bits and you also get these as well. However, what I thought I could do is add, I don't know if it's to add ginger or cinnamon or a bit of both. And what I thought we could do is just sprinkle a bit on the top as well, like a little bit of cinnamon. You know, just to add a bit of an autumn theme to it because last year when we made, I'm sure it was salted caramel buns and we added one of these in, it tasted unreal. So that's what I'm going to do now. But yeah, like I said, I just, I've not got it in me properly bake today i want to bake do you know when you feel like that you want to bake but you don't like properly want to bake do you know what i mean so this is really simple it literally says preheat your oven to 160 fan which is what i've done you need your cupcake tray obviously put them in the cupcake tray and then for this all you do is empty the sponge mix into a large bowl add one medium egg and two tablespoons of cold water can't get more simpler than that, can you? And then it says mix with an electric whisk on medium for two minutes, divide it into six, and then how long is it actually meant to go in for? Because it doesn't, oh yeah. Bake in the center of the oven for approximately 15 minutes, leave cool for five minutes, and then we'll do our icing mix. Oh, what a dream. What an absolute dream. I'm really excited for these. Because like I said, the ones we made last year, so good. Caramel cake mix as well. I feel like it's not really a popular one, do you? 
but it actually tastes really really nice i'm so excited for these and then i also on the way back popped to morrison just because sainsbury's didn't really have what i wanted popped to morrison's and i've got loads of things to make like a halloween themed cheese board tonight well, it's not even just a cheese board it's like a bit of everything to be honest like a board so I'm really excited for that because I think tonight me and Tom are going to um, just chill out. We're going to watch a film and we're going to just have nibbles and stuff. So I bet you can't beat that this time of year, like closing up inside. So I'm actually really excited to make that as well. Anyways, I put the sponge mix in, I put the egg in. And then what else did I need to do? Two tablespoons of cold water and mix it up. <laughs> to make six it's only done me five but maybe i put too much mixture in the cake things anyway who knows but i remembered before i started making it that tommy doesn't like cinnamon so what i've done is i made three just normal caramel cupcakes and then in the mixture once i've done those i've put a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of ginger into those two i was hoping to do three of each but obviously ran out of the mixture so we've got two with cinnamon and ginger and then just three caramel and then like I say, once they've done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, I think it's caramel buttercream, but then on mine again, I'm going to sprinkle cinnamon or ginger on. Honestly, that's probably why I didn't have enough for the extra one actually, because I was eating the mixture of the cinnamon and ginger in as I was making it. That tastes amazing. I'm so excited for these to be done. So now I'm going to put them in for 15 minutes. I'll probably leave them about 15, 20 minutes to cool and then we can decorate them. Okay, I won't actually lie, but I'm actually really impressed with these. I feel like they're the perfect shape and everything so i think i put just the amount of mixture in that was needed so i'm a bit upset that it's only made five instead of six but there is only me and tom so that's absolutely fine so now what i'm gonna do is i need to measure out some butter how much of this do i need to use 60 grams of this mixed with this which is the i think it's is it just caramel icing yeah it looks like this so i'm gonna mix the butter and the icing together um, and then once I've done that, you get these little fudge pieces that you can put on the top. And I'm going to sprinkle probably just some cinnamon on the top of mine. I've got this little icing thing, found this in the cupboard, um, for my icing. But it's not the right nozzle, but hopefully it still works. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> with these ones and i feel like they're gonna taste so nice there was just the perfect amount of everything so do you know what if there is just two of you at home i'd really recommend getting one of those sets they had loads of different flavors because that's just enough for two people um so on tom's i just put i found some chocolate chips in the cupboard i just put chocolate chips and fudge and then on mine i've just put obviously a bit of cinnamon bit of ginger and some fudge as well and then i found this gold spray that i bought from b&m so i've just put a bit of gold spray on but Perfect timing, because just like that, look who's home. <laughs> You've literally look. just walked into the baking, haven't you? I actually, I had no idea. I'm going to turn them off. I've only got them on because I have got a pounding headache. But um, I had no idea you were baking this afternoon, so... I th do you know what flavour these buns are? Caramel. Yeah, fantastic. Caramel. Hell, you've blown out the water again. But in mine, just to make it a bit all Tom, and I put oh. cinnamon and ginger in it, but I didn't put them in yours because I didn't think you'd appreciate that. Mm. Mm. Are we going to do mm. a taste test? I think it was caramel. Uh, salted caramel. Salted caramel. Oh, salted caramel. I'm okay. just going to have a little bit of juice first. Right. And then I will do a taste test. I'm really excited to try this, oh. you know. I not say that's how much was left. Oh. I'm actually really, really excited to try this. I feel like it's going to be really 
really this nice. This would be amazing. Which one are you going to go for? You don't want that because it's got cinnamon in. Them three I made for you. Thank you. This one looks the fullest. Right, are we ready? Are I'm we actually ready? so excited. Hey, yeah. This was a cake mix. So I'm not going to take all the credit for it. But oh, you're not taking full credit, but still, presentation's key as well. Brother, what a banging cake. Oh, we're chasing. Chin chin. Ooh, that's mm. fun. Mmm. Wow. I can taste cinnamon in mine. I ain't giving you a cinnamon more of it. No. Mmm. That is so soft. Oh my god, that mine. Do you want to taste what it might taste like gingerbread? No, I don't. Tastes like gingerbread. I don't. I'm not even a massive fan of gingerbread. Oh my god, if you like gingerbread, mm. make sure you add cinnamon and ginger to the buns. Wow. That is soft. And I don't so want to say it, but it's really M O I S T. <laughs> it's moist. <laughs> Mmm, that is so good. What was yours like? Because yours yeah, didn't have the other stuff in. That was top tier. Bacon L was well done. That's maybe one of the nicest cupcakes I've ever had. That's like, my, you know, because I'm not a massive cake lover. Yeah. That's like my perfect flavour cake, I think. Yeah. That was good. That was really, really good. So good, honestly. And. I was saying to these guys, like, you only get six in a pack, but I actually only got to make five. That's perfect for us. Oh, yeah. You don't want to make loads when there's only two of us. Yeah. Unless you're going to take some to family members. We don't need loads, do we? But then you never make enough to take them to all family members. Exactly. It? So it's like... Honestly, amazing. Let me show you the box again, just in case you want to make them. And like I said, they have so many different um, flavours. I'm sure they have, like, lemon, red velvet chocolate, you know, like your standard ones, but it's this one here. I think it cost about one pound seventy-five. Would you like a drink, Kels? Unreal. No, I'm good. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm so buzzing with myself. Well done. Smashed it. So it is now a little bit later on. I've just had a delivery, and um, I think I mentioned it to you earlier on. But I ordered a order on Boohoo, and I also ordered one thing from PLT the other day. Just some knitwear. So I thought I could do like a little mini knitwear haul. I've not got much. I think I've got like four things maybe. Um, but found some really really nice bits. So I'll show you the Boohoo bits first. Um, some of it, I was like, am I going to love that? Am I going to hate it? Not really sure. Um, so the first thing that I got, I, don't, I thought this was really nice for the bright colours. Oh my God, I think I love it. This is from Boohoo. How nice are those bright colours? Just with like some black leggings or something. So this is the first one. And then on the back, it's just bright pink. How nice is that? I am obsessed with those colours. And it feels like a really nice material. Um, the sleeves are just normal, they're not flared or anything because I don't like them type of sleeves. So they're just normal sleeves and it's just like a bit of a, it's not a roll neck is it, but it's like a bit of a turtleneck. Oh my god, I absolutely love that so much. That's the first one. Right, this one I think was a bit out of my comfort zone because I love it. I don't know when I'll wear it, if I'm honest. So it's just a plain black knitted jumper. Um, it's quite padded actually here, but look at the sleeves, they're feathery. They had these in a couple of other colours as well, I'm sure they had it in white and then they had it in this gorgeous, it was orange like that and I really loved the orange one but I thought, do you know what, I will never wear that, like I don't know what I would wear that for, but I thought this would just be nice, you know, if you just wanted to dress an outfit up a little bit, like I'm not really a skirt lover, but if you did wear skirts, you could maybe wear like a black skirt with the orange one of these or even black and black or whatever but I feel like this would look really nice with some black tights a little skirt maybe like even a Christmas day jumper do you know what I mean like so you're kind of cozy but you dressed it up a little bit it looks a bit more dressed up because of the feathers I feel like I really like this I don't know if I'd wear it though that's my only thing I feel like it just it's just a little something different so yeah that was from Boo as well like I said they had it in a few other colours too but I just feel like that's the perfect Christmas day jumper let me know in the comments down below, do you guys dress up for Christmas Day or do you go casual or do you just like stay in pyjamas? Because I feel like if I stayed at home I probably would just stay in pyjamas but because we usually go out or go to like our families. I go casual, I don't really dress up but I don't stay in pyjamas. Let me know in the comments down below but yeah. How nice is that? I don't know if I'll wear that. I don't know if I'll keep that one, I'm not sure. I feel like I really really like it though. Next one again from Boohoo is just this plain cream. It's got like a really nice pattern detailing on the front. 
and then the sleeves again just like this this one feels like a really really nice thick quality jumper i got them all by the way and i think in a size large yeah i think i got them all in a large because you guys know me i like them to be oversized and then the last jumper i did get some tops was this green one because i feel like you can't go wrong with a green jumper at christmas so this one again got it in a size large this one is a turtleneck or a roll neck looks like that but it's cropped so i thought this one would look nice with like some joggers or like again you could wear a black skirt with this tucked in black tights on christmas day i really like the color that i love the color green I feel like green's one of my favorite colors um, I then just picked up two, they are, I think it were, they are knitted, so yeah, and you probably could class them as it, it's like a ribbed knitted, but they're t-shirts, so I've got one in brown and one in grey, and it's just a plain t-shirt like that, but I literally live in these tops, so I feel like these go with really well with cargos, joggers, shorts, I mean, we're not going to be wearing shorts in this weather, are we, but do you know what I mean, I feel like you could probably get away with wearing these all the way around, because they're like a thicker material, a bit nicer for this time of year like i could wear that under this shirt and i just love the chocolate brown color especially at this time of year and it's ribbed pick that up in a size 10 and then i also got it in gray but i'm pretty sure they didn't have it in a 10 i'm pretty sure they only had less left in an eight yes yeah, so i got this one in an eight but again it's just the same like a really thick knitting material in ribbed so that was everything that i got from boohoo how nice are all those jumpers I feel like they're not just standard jumpers, like they've got a bit of something to them, do you know what I mean? And then I got one little parcel from PLT, and I just ordered a long sleeve crop top. I've actually already got this in um, another colour, I've got it in orange, so if any of you watched our last q and I had an orange top on, a few of you actually commented on that, so thank you so much, but I just ordered the same in this camel colour. Um, so again, it's ribbed, and it's just a crop top with long sleeves. So yeah, I picked that up. What size did I get that in? Size 8. I think I got it in an 8 because I got it in a 10 in the orange one and it's a little bit big. So I picked it up in this nice kind of brownie camely colour. But how nice are all those jumpers? I thought I could quickly just show you what they look like because some of you are probably like, can we see them on? I know I'm like that when people show clothes. So this is the first one. This is the green one. Absolutely love it. It's such a, feels like a really lightweight material, but I love it. I love the colour, love the style. So glad I got it in a large. It is cropped as you can see, so it's like the perfect crop size. Perfect sleeves. Like I literally, I'm obsessed. I feel like this would look so nice. You could wear this with some cargos, you could wear it with jeans, you could wear it with joggers leggings yeah obsessed with this one okay next up we have the cream one i don't know if i should have maybe got this in a size smaller because it is a little bit big i'm not really sure i feel like you could maybe like roll this one up or something and make it look better but i feel like i might need to send this back and maybe get a medium because this is like excessively big it's not like a nice oversized do you know what i mean I feel like I might need to send this one back and get a medium, but I do like love the style of it. It's not itchy either, like I've got absolutely nothing on underneath and it's not itchy on my skin, so another success. Maybe just not the correct size. Okay, next up we have the feather boa one. Um, I actually really like this. I like this a lot more than I expected to. I actually think it's such the perfect fit. Again, I picked it up in a size large, but it's perfect. Like I have rolled it up, like it goes down, but I've like rolled it up a little bit. And I'm obsessed with it. It's so nice. It fits perfectly. These are a little bit boxy. Like this is actually padded here a little bit. So it's a little bit boxy which I love. I feel like it just looks like a really like luxurious jumper. I feel like this is the perfect Christmas day jumper. Tucked into like a little skirt with some tights or some jeans. Like, how nice are they? I am actually obsessed. And then last but not least, the bright one. I absolutely love this. I feel like this would look so good just with black leggings, jeans. Again, everything I've said pretty much. Like an all black outfit and just this to make it pop. This is the perfect size large as well. Like it's still baggy but it's it's the perfect size large if you know what I mean. And it's also the perfect length if I just show you as well. More or less covers your bum for you girls out there that like your bum to be covered. And I'm sorry but look at that colour. Like how nice is that colour palette? Absolutely obsessed. So yeah, this is another winner. And this is the last one I'm going to try because I'm not going to try on the t-shirts because they're just plain t-shirts. But obsessed, the only one I'm not sure on is the cream one actually. But I think that's because of the size. But how nice are the rest? We are back in the kitchen. We've got another little chef here. Chef numeral two. What's it? What's the right. sous chef? 
Sous chef, yeah. Sous chef. So we're gonna we're having a closing night, which I think I told you earlier on we're gonna have nibbles and stuff, but we are also making like a it's not just the cheese board. It'll be like It's not just the cheese just board. Just a board. It's I don't like think you're expecting what we're board. making. Really? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Don't think you're expecting it. I was expecting just cheese and crackers. Oh no. Shut up. That's what we're making. I want to make all that. Easy. This is what we're making. How cool does that look? Right, so, sous chef. Yeah. We need the boards. You just tell me what to do. We need the boards. I, I actually think it's going to be alright to make that. Right, let me tell you what I've got. So, I've got golden Oreos because they were on the thing and you like them, don't you? Yes, I do like right, them. Right, so we've got them. I've got nibbly bits just in general. Popcorn, but I've got like individual bags of thought then you can so this eat isn't them. like a cheese board? No, it's just a board with cheese on it. Cheese is going to be on it. Oh, I was expecting cheese and crackers. Oh yeah, board. we've got that. That's included within the I'm so confused. Right. Yeah, Tom, you. right. It's just all different types of Look, food. Look, cheese, cheese, crackers, crackers, crisps. Oh, right, okay. It's just like a board, do you know what I mean? Okay. I've got orange cheese balls, because obviously the theme of this is a pumpkin. So okay. most of it's going to be like orange slash beige. Yeah. We've got cheese crackers. Cheese crackers, yep. We've got cheese in the fridge, sous chef. Cheese in the fridge. Oh, you need me to get that? Yeah. When you say sous chef, you mean get the cheese. Yeah. yeah. We've got chocolate raisins and raisins. I personally don't like these, but we need these for the smiley face in the eyes, and Tommy oh, does. We've okay. got yeah. those. Carrot sticks, which Tommy won't eat, but I will. Crackers. Like, these are just digestive biscuits, but in my opinion, these are the best crackers to have with cheese. And then cheese twists. Cheese. Cheese and grapes. Sour cream. There's a new, yeah, fridge. that can stay in there. And there's Come a on. new tub of grapes. Pepperoni? No. Uh, oh, yeah, the salami stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is actually going to be so good. Like, I know you, I feel like you can't vision it right now. Can I'm you? getting more now. Like, I didn't realise it was just so this is our all pumpkin. types of food. This is our pumpkin. This is the pumpkin. Oh, cucumber. Cucumber. That's not, that's not Halloween-y. No, because Tom, did you study the picture? Look at look at the little bit at the top. Oh, we're going we get to the, town. We are going to town. We are making this and it's going to be the best thing ever. Oh my god. Well, do you know what, guys? We tried. That's. <laughs> that is horrendous, isn't it? It's beautiful. But it looks, it's looks like tasty. It's our pumpkin. We did, then did another board. Tommy was on duty of making it cosy. Oh, very cosy, Tom. That cosy. Yeah, we've you got little sweets. We're ready. We're ready for our board night. What film are we gonna watch? Oh, Any in mind? Um, am I on duty of trying to carry this through into the limit? I feel like that's gonna be a task, don't you? A task? I feel like it's now an impossible. If it was a movie, it's just gonna fall everywhere, isn't it? Do you know what though, guys? This was actually really fun to do, wasn't it? It was actually, I yeah. actually really, really enjoyed it. And I feel like it's just the little things like this at this time of year that make it exciting, don't you? We've got the task of carrying it in. Should we try and carry it in the living room? I'll carry this one. Will you now? Oh. oh, oh my god. Oh dear lord. I don't know where it's going. My Jesus. 
I don't know where. Nothing. <gasps> grapes are everywhere. Oh, you've got grapes everywhere. At least it was the grapes. Do you know what I mean? I'm not even going to lie. Not a single thing has moved. Do you know what? Go you. Thank you. Should have been a waiter. Don't move them. Thank you. Oh. Oh, that just looks perfect, doesn't waiter it? Waiter Wilson. Do you know what? What a perfect Saturday night in my oh. book. Do you? Tom's got a glass, a glass of grenadine lemonade. If you mm. know, you know. It's like a, a holiday drink. A bit of a Shirley drink. Temple. Yeah, it's a holiday drink. This is what we're looking like. All cosy. We're certainly not watching this. We're certainly just watching a bit of highlights for now. Really? We'll find the film. That's I'll ruining the vibe, it. I'm not going to lie. Okay, yeah, you find a film. find film. Netflix. Anyways, guys, that is going to go ahead and conclude today's video. I really, really hope you've enjoyed spending the day with us. Look at the mountain of cushions behind me. This is the thing with those loads of cushions in it. They just end up all chucked and piled on top of each other. Fantastic when no one's sat on the sofa. <laughs> yeah. um, but as always, I really, really hope you've enjoyed spending the day with us. If you have, then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Thank you so, so much as always. And we shall see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.